Apple has never really been known to make decent quality headphones. Going back to the original headphones that came with your iPods and your iPhones, they were great and they were well made, but they weren't really known or used for their sound quality. This was probably one of the reasons why Apple had acquired Beats, as with its Beats series of headphones and earphones, Apple could appear to a market segment that was more serious about sound quality, and some users that actually might be on Android. With the Apple AirPods Pro, Apple is accomplishing a few things and taking its first dip into active noise cancellation. This part of the market has been dominated by a few headphone manufacturers over the recent years, and now we're seeing the first generation of truly wireless active noise cancelling earbuds, and the AirPod Pro is in that lineup. So, if you're serious about sound quality and are on iOS or have an iPhone, then the AirPod Pros might be the upgrade that you've been looking for. But what if you're on Android? Will the AirPod Pros still be a good choice for you? Considering that these were designed specifically for iOS, the flagship features still work surprisingly well on Android. These are active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and the physical controls. Android users are missing out on a few things enjoyed by their iOS counterparts though. Most notably are the on-screen widgets that display the AirPod Pro's battery life whenever you open up the case. These set up fairly quickly on the iPhone and they're lacking on Android. Thankfully though, Android AirPod users did not take this one lying down. Over two generations of the original AirPods, Android users have developed a workaround with a very popular Android app that brings back many of the features for the AirPods that are lacking on Android. Assistant Trigger, with over 3,000 reviews on the Google Play Store, is a Android workaround for the iOS features that people enjoy on iPhones. It's free on the Play Store with an upgradable Pro version for a small price. To install Assistant Trigger on your Android phone, simply go to the Play Store and search Assistant Trigger. There you can download the relatively small package and it will be installed on your Android device. After the install, you'll be asked to allow two permissions to allow Air Trigger to communicate with your AirPods Pro. Once you allow these permissions, the AirPod Pros will Bluetooth connect to your Android device and then the setup will start automatically. Once you have the connection set up, simply open your AirPods Pro's case and the widget will come up automatically. After a few moments, the battery information will be relayed to your Android device and you'll be able to check the battery life on the left EarPod, the right EarPod, and also the actual case itself. Some of the Pro features of Air Trigger include some other features that are included in iOS. Most notably is the in-ear detection. This allows you to pause and play your music simply by taking the AirPods out of your ear. This comes based on iOS, but it isn't present in any form when you use your AirPods with Android. For a small price, if you upgrade Air Trigger, you can enable or disable this function. Other Pro features including being able to include the battery life indicator in your notification panels and other customizations for the AirPods Pro. Overall, this is a great app that allows you to enjoy many of the slick features and clever integrations that iOS has included with this latest set of earbuds. So what do you think? Does Air Trigger make using the AirPods Pro on your Android device worthwhile? Do you know of any other solutions or workarounds to bring back some of the features that people on iOS are enjoying?